Although What Not to Wear ended its run in 2013, hosts Stacey London and Clinton Kelly didn't fall off the runway for good. Both have continued on to immense success in the lifestyle scene. Here's what the fab twosome has been up to. After What Not to Wear, Stacey London didn't skip a beat between hosting duties. The style guru jumped on board another TLC makeover series, 2013's Love, Lust, or Run. What in the what is going on? Ellie, what is happening? This time around, London worked solo on her quest to make under the show's participants, helping them bolster their self-esteem. London told HuffPost, I feel much more like a mentor to these women. I'm not out to change them. I don't want them to blend in. They aren't necessarily meant to look conventional. Yeah, now, down. what I'm looking at my face. is this Shane <laughs> Punam, which in Yiddish means pretty face. Ooh. Sadly, the TLC series would end in 2016 after just three seasons. Get your tushies in here, come on! You wanna see my closet, don't ya? London was known for her signature feminine style on what not to wear, but as she evolved, her style and outlook on life did too. She told Refinery29, When I look back, I realize the style I had while I was on what not to wear does not reflect who I am now. I dress much more androgynously than I did when I was younger. What I wear and my surroundings need to make me feel beautiful, and that's what I've tried to do in the way that I dress and in the way that I've styled my home. London talked about rewriting her own fashion rules, telling Man Repeller in 2017, In my What Not To Wear days, I was all about telling people exactly what to do. I don't really believe in that anymore. Clinton Kelly went on to join The Chew in 2011, where instead of overhauling wardrobes, Kelly gossiped with his co-stars over cocktails and tasty treats. I would also just want to share with you the really glamorous dinner I had. Oh! It's crackers with peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> Kelly told the News and Observer, The Chew allows me to express all the things in my life I like. Cooking, entertaining, style, making things. What not to wear was my work, and The Chew is more like how I live my life. The Emmy-winning show was canceled in 2018 in the wake of misconduct allegations against co-host Mario Batali. Continuing on her crusade to empower women, London launched a fashion line with Meyer in 2017 called Massini by Stacey. This marked the first time Meyer collaborated with a celebrity. Peter Whitsett, executive VP of merchandising and marketing for Meyer, said, We are thrilled to partner with Stacey because she has a knack for quickly creating an emotional connection and is committed to helping all women feel beautiful and confident, regardless of size. I wanted all of these women to step outside their comfort zone and see themselves in a new light. Created to inspire body confidence and challenge beauty standards, Messini has something for everybody. London says on the site, There's a common misbelief that trends only look good on a specific body type or are limited to youth. There are no limits. You can wear a trend regardless of your age or body type. I'm Stacy. And I'm Clinton. And we're, we're from, from TLC's What Not To Wear. Many fans of What Not To Wear were shocked to learn that the co-hosts weren't actually friends in real life. In 2017, Kelly revealed London even blocked him on Twitter. I'm already in trouble. Kelly later said on The Chew that there wasn't any beef between the twosome, saying, It seems juicy, but it really isn't that juicy. It was like getting a little slap in the face. I was like, what is that all about? Why? And how? And when? Fans wondered what happened between the pair, who appeared like best friends on What Not To Wear, but London denied a feud ever existed. Then, she shared a cryptic Instagram post that read, Last night, I was thinking about forgiveness. It occurred to me that taking action, like blocking people, in order to feel some sense of control over others' actions is a waste of my time, so I unblocked a bunch of people today. And then I woke up one day, I'm like, why do I care if anybody likes me? Because I don't care if anybody likes me. <laughs> While he may or may not be on the outs with London, Kelly surely hates everyone else. Almost. In 2017, the stylist penned a memoir called I Hate Everyone Except You, marking the fifth book since his first in 2005. Infused with his infamous snark, humor, and wit, the memoir features personal stories of the style guru's life and career. In case you don't know, Lisa and I have been friends since seventh grade. Since before he was America's sweetheart when he was a 13-year-old dweeb. All right, enough out of you. Let's go. He told APB speakers, I spent my life trying to prove to people that I was fabulous, because I remember being in junior high and high school and really feeling like I had a lot to offer the world and feeling like I was fabulous, but nobody got it. I loved you on Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Are you still friends with the rest of the cast? I was not on that show. 
London spent a portion of 2018 styling Lin-Manuel Miranda for the Mary Poppins press tour, but this wasn't the first time the pair worked together. When the Hamilton star received an Academy Award nom for Best Original Song for How Far I'll Go for Moana, he entrusted London to help him fulfill a childhood promise to take his mom to the show. Who are you excited to meet, Mom? Well, I met Vigo and I wouldn't mind me meeting him again. <laughs> After 10 years of helping women look their best, Kelly launched his own fashion line for QVC, Kelly by Clinton Kelly. He created the line based on some of the most common fashion flubs from What Not To Wear, including clothes that were unflatteringly tight or too loose and baggy. He told the Boca Raton Observer, I designed my QVC line for the average woman who's 5'4 and a size 12 or 14. Most clothes are designed for a size 2 or 4, which is such a small subset of the population. In February 2019, Food Network announced that Kelly would be hosting the fifth season of its hit series, Spring Baking Championship. Network president Courtney White said in a press release that Kelly's charismatic personality and lifestyle expertise were a perfect addition for the show. Kelly gushed about the show and its judges, posting, It's official. I'm hosting Spring Baking Championship on Food Network. Yay! Working with these three was a real treat. Some amazingly talented competitors, too. And I get to wear suits again. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.